good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the Comgro Z1. Friends, today we're going to do a project cutting cardboard, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, so this is Tinkercad. If you've never seen it before, I'll have links to some starter videos up above. This is the Tiny Jet. I have made several of these little guys. I'm going to open this one right here by doing Tinker This, and you'll be able to see what it looks like. Tinkercad totally works in a web browser. The theory behind this design was this wing slides in here and because of these four millimeter grooves, because that's how thick my cardboard is, it can slide forward or back to change your center of gravity. This one right here comes back and is the horizontal stabilizer. It just locks in place. And then up here, we're gonna launch it with the rubber band launcher. Once you finish your design in Tinkercad, you do need to make sure it's totally flat because it's going to export a 2D version of this file. I'm going to select all the pieces and I'm going to choose export. We are doing the SVG for laser cutting. Once again, this runs in a web browser and it's totally free. Amazing little project. I'm going to call it TinyJet2 and just hit save. It'll be in my downloads. I also want to cut the launcher today. So I'm going to go back to Tinkercad. And here I'm going to launch my V6 of the launcher. I only need these three pieces. There were other versions. This was me exploring. So if I simply grab those three pieces and choose export and choose export SVG, it'll be saved as well. All right, friends. So let's do file import and let's cut the jet first. So of course there is the copy of the tiny jet. When it comes in, I am going to change it to my setting 15. Now I've got this set at 2700 speed, 100% power, three passes, and I've been testing. Let's see just how well this works. Let's see how, let's see how well this works with the cardboard that I've got today. Alrighty friends, so I'm going to grab my goggles. Let's hit start and cut ourselves a sweet little tiny jet. Bam! There you have it, tiny jet cut. All right, friends, so now let's quickly pop these out and I'll show you how they fit together. As I mentioned earlier, we have got this hole in the middle for the larger wing. When you slide this through, I made it four millimeters thick, the exact same thickness as our cardboard, and I gave it that groove so you can slide it forward and back to adjust the center of gravity or the center of lift for your cool little tiny jet. The tail fin just slides in and then we tape this in place so that it doesn't fall out of the time. You could also glue it in place if you wished. And then up here in the front is the hook that we attach with a rubber band when it's time to launch. We also put some clay on the front of the aircraft. Of course, friends, we're gonna go back to file import. This time we're gonna get the launcher once again, I'm gonna to switch to my settings 15. I think I'm gonna adjust my settings just a tiny bit. So let's go back to cut layers, and these all adjusted, so I'm gonna change them a lot. So remember, it was three passes, and I'm gonna do 2600, and I'm still doing 100% power. I'm gonna move the laser up into a spot where I think it's gonna work. All right, friends, now let's move the laser up. Don't forget if you do shift nudge, it goes 10 times as far. I'm gonna go a little bit left with a shift nudge. Let's hit that frame button, just cause I kinda like watching that laser do it. I'm gonna take off the little guide. There's my frame. That one looks like it kinda cuts into the tail. So I'm gonna go a couple clicks to the left. Let's try that frame one more time. That stop before the tail. You can see I've got a thumbtack out there to keep my cardboard flat. That's just one strategy I have come up with, with using my little cardboard system here. Of course, friends, it is time to put the goggles on and let's cut out a launcher.
And there you have it, friends, a laser cut launcher. All right, everybody, so here is the launcher. It assembles super simple. You put the two sides together, and then you put it in the holes. I added glue so that would be strong for today, and I'm going to attach a rubber band right now so we can go start launching. And here you can see the jet. I have got the clay added to the front. Of course, I am just using guess and check and I have taped my wings in place and we are ready to take it out and give it some test. Quick tip on the rubber band. If you make a hole above the launcher and then pull the rubber band from the bottom through, this seems to be the most effective arrangement for when you're launching your tiny jet. Now you can grab your tiny jet and get the hook connected to the rubber band and then I angle the launcher slightly up and then I also make sure I grab the tail fin not the horizontal stabilizer then you can pull it back notice that cute little angle and let's do a test flight not bad for flight one of course this is where it gets really fun let's try flight two a little bit better although we did lose a horizontal stabilizer all right, friends, so I have modified my wing placement a bit. Let's see how that adjusted. Oh my gosh, there it is, best flight of the day. All right, everybody, so there you have it. We cut cardboard, the settings are pretty sweet. Of course, your cardboard may be different, so you may need to adjust your settings. And the thing that I like most is that you can do this with your kids. They can design it, they can make modifications, and then you can cut them super fast for them to go out and test. Totally fun and I think an awesome educational experience. Friends, remember if you are looking for this amazing Z1 laser, there will be a link down below. You can check out all the products from ComGrow. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.